Cheryl Tommy. Uh, Tumi says, love the Stratocruise idea. I have a question. What is the purpose of the VIP pricing? I'm confused by that. Thanks. Uh, Cheryl, um, no, Rogue One was great, by the way. Uh, uh, the, the VIP thing is something that comes with the, um, with the cruise conditions. It, it, it's, it's basically, uh, I don't know if it's the part of the cruise ship or the, or the, the booking agency, but in any event, it is, I think it's, I think it's part of the cruise ship's, um, requirements is that there be a, a, a number of VIP events. And these are things like basically uh, on, on the strata cruise are going to be things like, um, uh, you know, I think we've got two cocktail parties planned. So, um, so it'll be much more, um, you know, just be a smaller group, I guess. Uh, we're going to treat everybody like a VIP, but we, we have to do these things. And the, the reason we have to do them is because the, um, the cruise line wants to uh, have people upgrade their tickets, and that's great. There, there will be some ban advantages to it. Um, it'll certainly give us a, some time to spend. Uh, I will be spending time with the VIPs that I won't be spending with everybody, but I'm going to be spending a lot of time out there, period. So um, I don't, you know, I don't know. Um, that's what caused it anyway, and, uh, and it felt a little elitist to me. It always does, but... This is fundraising, and um, and this is how it works. Every single speaking event I've ever been to, well, not everyone, but most of them, depends on who your audience is. The big, the big, you know, events with the lots of people in suits at nighttime always have a VIP cocktail party in advance. Um, it's just part of part of the fundraising. Um, so. Uh, in any event, we're all three going to be there. Scott is a great guy. Steve's a great guy. The three of us together are going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing um, we'll be doing at least two Bill Whittle Nows live. We're going to do at least two um, trifectas live. We're going to do them in front of a live audience, so you get to see the whole thing. Um, uh, there's been talk about whether or not there's skeet shooting. I'd be surprised if there was, but if there wasn't, then... Let's add it. Everybody bring your shotguns and just chuck some dinner trays over the side. Um, but, uh, yeah, so basically it's, it's something that the, that the crews uh, required, and it makes perfect sense to me. I'm not, not the slightest bit upset about the, the crews um, company doing that. They, they have a business model, and it's, and it's working. And given the prices here, I mean, when they told me how much this thing would cost, I was, I was just really over the moon. I really was. Um, ah, witty fool. Lincoln Day speaker canceled, and I filled in, and you guys chipped in extra for the VIP. And he says it was so worth it. So Cheryl, it's so worth it. Uh, it's so worth it. You can just ask, uh, aka Witty fool. Um, and you know, it's funny. Uh, uh, you mind if I call you Witty? Um, I can't put aka Woody Fool on a face, but the second I see you again, I will certainly remember you. I remember everybody. I can't, I can't remember the names of my family, but I can remember the faces of everybody who's ever been there. And so, um, anyway, uh, I, as I said in the end of the last episode, uh, I have secured my own private lifeboat, and, um, and that's part of the VIP package, too. I guess I should have mentioned that. The VIPs also get life jackets and lifeboats, um, and that's not some that, that's like an additional charge for uh, for uh, people who are not in the VIP program. So um, yeah, so it's just a nice hint, hint little thing to have uh, having the your own lifeboat and your own guaranteed um, life jacket. And and I guess if the ship was in real trouble and had to go down, I think they'd probably just I would just have some cash available to to buy one. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Um, anyway. Um, let's see what's going.